Hello, hello, guys. It's Mr. Stein again, the host of your show and also your teacher. Anyway, we have four days left in school, so I wanted to make a nice, simple, relaxing video, kind of a doodle video. We do this in class at times, so I just give you guys some free time to doodle and be creative. So, there we go. That way you guys can actually see the paper so it doesn't blend into the table completely. Ah, there you go. Now it's not invisible anymore. Anyway, I'm just gonna doodle and relax. Sometimes the best way to do art is just to kind of relax and see what happens. Let your brain kind of relax and turn off and just go with the flow. You can use any supply you like and just kind of see what happens. I like to make sure things touch all four corners and I start with the big doodles. It's not about speed, it's just about being creative and having a bit of fun. See? For this lesson, there's really no wrong way to do this. You just gotta have a bit of fun and see what your mind comes up with. I'm just gonna use black to start and then I'll color in here and there and make some patterns and designs. Yes, I'm drawing on my table. Don't worry, my parents will not yell at me. Your parents might, so you might wanna be careful not to draw on the table for yourselves. You can see though, it's not completely random. I do try to make sure it kind of flows. I like to continue my curves a little bit and just kind of see what happens. But again, no wrong way to do this, so see where your mind takes you. Upside to using a washable marker is, all of this does wash off when I wash it later, I promise. I'm gonna do a little bit more, and then I'll start to add some color. Pause, take your time. You don't have to follow this exactly, or even at all. It's your doodle. So see what you come up with. I'll try to keep putting videos up throughout the summer, guys, as much as I can. So just because school ends doesn't mean you guys have to stop learning. And then hopefully we'll be back in school in September. I certainly hope so. I know you guys would love to get back. I would like to get back as well. Hopefully we'll not be wearing Ghostbusters outfits or any other kind of weird thing to ward off coronavirus. But you never know. However, if we do get to wear Ghostbuster outfits, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm not going too small. I'm just trying to fill in each area for a different kind of pattern, let it flow, let it move around. And, you know, after you do this a couple of times, you'll start to see patterns on your own. You'll start to see things that you like, things that you don't like. You'll get to see if you like straight lines or curved lines more. Me, I like the curved lines. I like how they spin and move and flow. I don't use many straight lines in my patterns when I doodle. I just like to see what happens. But I love the curvy lines in particular. Everybody's different. This is my jam. So I've kind of filled in each area to some extent. Now I get to see what else I want to do. I can color patterns. I can make designs inside my patterns. One thing you're going to do, or one thing I'm going to do at least, is I'm going to try to match my colors up so it's not going to be random. So I might go for complementary colors. Blue and orange is one complementary pair. Red and green, one complementary pair. Purple and yellow, the third complementary pair. So I could go for that, or I could go for primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. I can go for secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. I could do all cold colors or cool colors, black, brown, and gray, blue, and purple, and green as well. Sorry, 
That was a combination of cold and neutral. Sorry, cold colors, blue, green, and purple mainly. Neutral colors, black, brown, and gray. Hot colors, red, orange, yellow, and pink. So you guys, there's many, many color theories, many types of sets of colors. You can look them up. You could rewind and go back to what I just said. But I'm going to stick with some of my complementary pairs. Now, as you guys know in school, I wear a lot of blue. It is my favorite color. So maybe I'll start with some blue. And I'm going to make a pattern. So I'm going to make every other part of this blue. And then in between will be the orange to make the complementary pair. I'm not going to color my whole picture in on video because that would take way too long. But I'm just going to color in a couple of spots to give you guys some ideas. Again, it's the end of the year, the last four days of school. We don't need anything too hard. I still have the list of all the requests you guys made, and I'll continually pecking away at that list, little by little. Hopefully I'll get the whole list done at some point. I might be 50 years old, I make no promises, but I'll do the best I can. Maybe I'll do this one next. Green and red for this pattern. Another set of complementary colors. Also, as you guys point out in school, usually Christmas colors, but really prime complementary colors came first. At least that's what I like to say. I don't really know which came first, Christmas or complementary colors. Um, good luck finding that one on the internet. You'll have to look up, I guess, who created the concept of complementary colors. So I wanna keep on going and add this part with the same color theme. And now the other half of the complementary color is red. Remember, if you're using markers, they have what inside of them? Ink. So you can't go so fast that you see lots of white spots. The reason why I see all those white spots other than your ink running out, these are brand new. If you see white spots when they're newer, it's because you're moving your hands so fast the ink doesn't have time to escape from the marker. Crayons have what inside? Wax. Pencils have lead. So each thing has a different type of material inside of it. So depending on the material coming out, you get a different effect. So you have to move your hands in a different way. When you use colored pencils, you want to keep all the same direction. Otherwise, you get those crisscrossing lines, as you guys know in class. Crayons, really, there's no wrong way to use them. They're pretty easy and straightforward. If you guys use watercolor paints, Remember, the more you swirl, the darker it gets. And if, if they're still wet, you can even dab it with uh, some tissues or paper towels, soak some of the color to lighten it or make different effects. I'm going to do one more area, and then I will stop. Again, just so that you guys can kind of see enough options and ideas. I'm going to use my third set of complementary colors, which is purple and yellow. And then I'll finish coloring this another time. If I do the whole thing on video, this will be about a 15 to 20 minute video. And I know you guys don't like to stare at the screen for that long unless it's Fortnite. So, ha. And yes, I know you guys play it because you guys invited me to join your YouTube channels and subscribe. So I see all of your Fortnite videos. Some of you are better than others. Some of you really need some practice. So see, little by little, you can build up your project and your pattern. If you end up with these little kind of in-between areas that don't really fit into your pattern at all, you can even fill them in black. There's nothing wrong with a couple of spots that are black. It actually breaks up your patterns a little bit so they pop out even more. See? So that's not the worst thing in the world. If you end up with a few of those, fill them in black or even leave them white if you want. Anyway, this will give you guys a nice relaxing project to end the year. I'll try to make one or two more, maybe tomorrow night as well. I'll put up a whole bunch before the end of the school year, and you can take your time making them. You can still send me emails throughout the summer if you want, and I'll respond as much as I can. Leave me comments on the YouTube channel. But if you do, try to tell me who you are. A lot of your usernames don't really give me that information, so I have to guess at who you are if you're one of my students or if you're just somebody else who enjoys the channel, which is also fine. Keep your comments appropriate, as little kids do look at the channel, obviously. 
Be appropriate, be polite, be friendly. If you got nothing nice to say, go find another channel to watch. It's all good. Anyway, guys, this is Mr. Stein saying take it easy. Have a wonderful summer if I don't see you beforehand on video or in some other form. <laughs> and as always, chill.